Welcome back to E-Times live stream coverage from Embedded Systems Conference 2011. I'm Brian Fuller, Editorial Director of EE Life, and we're on the show floor of the San Jose Convention Center with our next guest, Mike Schnecker, Business Development Manager from Rody and Schwartz. Um, these guys um, have a presence here at Embedded Systems Conference with a product that you guys launched last year. Let's talk a little bit like at that level, and then we'll jump up a bit. Okay, yeah, so we launched the products last year. Uh, they're RTO series of oscilloscopes. There's one and two gigahertz models, um, and both models feature a 10 giga sample per second uh, sample rate on four channels, and uh, up to 400 million samples of memory storage uh, on one channel. So um, let's talk about, um, you guys wanted to make a, a bit of a splash here. There's a broad market um, that uh, you think could, uh, that has a burning need for this particular scope, um, but we seem to be in the midst of the scope wars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> talk, I heard talk, that today. <laughs> let's talk a little bit like, I mean, so our previous guest said said that you guys validated the mid-range of the market by, by, by entering it, so let, let's talk about those wars. Yeah, so again, I guess I wasn't aware there was a war going on, but you know, the mid-range is a very important part of the market. Um, there's a lot of applications that require two gigahertz and below type of oscilloscopes. And what Rodin Schwartz uh, saw uh, in the marketplace was a need for, uh, for lack of a better word, a high precision oscilloscope, something with low noise and uh, you know, very good frequency response characteristics. Um, being an RF company, um, we look at uh, signal integrity a little differently um, than a typical time domain company would. So we concentrated on, for example, making a very low noise A to D converter. Um, we design our own parts and build our own parts. So the A to D is a Rodin Schwartz design. Um, it is 10 giga sample per second. It's a single core A to D converter. So um, in the market today in oscilloscopes, everybody's interleaving A to Ds to get to 10 giga samples. So we're doing it actually in a single uh, core, uh, which results in uh, virtually no spurious uh, in the frequency response of the A to D converter, which leads to lower overall noise in the signal acquisition. So we're able to achieve about seven effective bits of vertical resolution out of eight uh, total bits. And uh, this is again at 10 giga sample per second. So, Again, we just feel like this is the, uh, the higher precision uh, scope in the market. Let me, let me ask you about that, that trade-off there, because you guys design your own circuitry. Correct, yeah. Other companies don't necessarily design all their circuitry. Some, right. especially on the, the ADCs, uh, partner or um, acquire the ADC from a, right. from, from a vendor. Um, and you can make arguments on, on both sides. Right, yeah. So why do you guys go with your um, own design approach, if you will. Well, I think in the oscilloscope world, many companies hold the A to D technology very close. So, um, at least for the high speed stuff. Now, on the lower speed, there are some off the shelf solutions being used, but at 10 giga sample per second and above, that's usually held in house. Um, we had a very specific requirement in mind, and we wanted to do this as a single core, and no one was doing that. There was no, uh, no third party available to do that thing, but we felt it was very important to have that. Um, so, we went to great lengths to design this A to D converter and really spent a lot of time um, and, uh, and resources developing it. And again, we're, we're real proud of what we come up with. So back to the wars. <laughs> yes. Wars and sex sell. You got um, it. So where, we're going to be where, attacking from the west. No. <laughs> you got the high ground. Where is the, uh, where's the field of battle right now? Is it primarily North America and Europe? Uh, yeah, so North America is probably the biggest battleground. I mean, I think there's the most uh, high-end development going on here using this sort of scope. So this is really the big market for us. We've been pretty successful in Europe, but of course that is our home, home ground as well. So not surprising, but the real, the real market is here. And so lay out for me what Asia looks like. Um, well, Obviously not top priority right now, but yeah, it's got to be emerging. It's definitely a big market. Again, uh, you know, my responsibility really covers North America, so I'm not very closely okay. tied into Asia, but we're seeing a lot of, uh, probably this, the most business right now in Asia. The most potential, we believe, is in, in, in North America, but we've really been doing well in Asia as well lately. But uh, again, I'm not directly related to that. So. Okay, so wildly jumping back and forth, this time going back to technology. The RTO yeah. series uh, unveiled it last year, last right. July. Right. Um, the next step is to go to 12 bits? What's the next step? Uh, I don't know, am I allowed to say? <laughs> oh yes, the next step you're will among be, friends. <laughs> the next step will be revealed. Uh, I think it, you'll see uh, by the end of this calendar year some, some additional features coming out. So let's just say uh, 
the uh, we, we want to expand the product line beyond just the mid range. So I think the next step is going to be going beyond beyond the basic uh, mid range scope in terms of bandwidth. Yeah. Um, and of course, there's, there's lots of features and software and packages that yet to be developed. So there's a lot more to go there as well. So uh, and you guys are here. You got a, a booth. We presence? have a booth here. Yes. Uh, first time here at ESC. Um, and uh, we're we're excited to be here, and you'll see us at all the other shows as well. Uh, really exciting to have all the banners here and everything. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, it's uh, there's a good vibe at the show. Um, yeah, I really exciting. like it. At least from what I hear, I've been sitting in this chair for the last couple of days <laughs> talking well, to fascinating guys like you. Well, you heard the shells flying overhead. Uh, yes, from the battle, right? So. Exactly. <laughs> and I saw some blood stains. Yeah, <laughs> we keep them clean in front of the booth, though. We don't want to scare people. Away, I know. You know? There's a lot of night. Janitorial work just done there. Mike Snecker, <laughs> the going. Mike Snecker from Rodian and Schwartz, thanks for stopping by. And um, I look forward to following the story and catching up with you later this year. Thank you. Keep an eye on us. A lot of exciting stuff to come. The wars. <laughs> the scope wars. Very cool. Okay, so um, what's next? I don't have my schedule in front of me, but we are going to take a break and bring in our next guest momentarily. And we'll be back live from Embedded Systems Conference 2011 in Silicon Valley.